Okay, let's use Stellarium to take a look at moon phases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, center on the moon. So I'm going to find the moon and push the space bar so that I follow along with it. And then what I'm going to do is, is kind of zoom in a ways, but I have to, in order for this to work, I have to turn off the ground and probably the atmosphere, turn off the cardinal points, and I'm going to switch my mount so that it's like a telescope mount. And with that, what I can do is I can start phases going forward here. I can kind of zoom in time, speed up time, while I zoom in on the moon. <clears throat> and you see the phases are slowly changing there. And what I'm going to do is actually speed it up all the way so that it goes through all of its phases rather quickly. All right, And this will allow us to kind of watch all the different ways in which the moon is changing. So here we go. I'm going to speed it up. Now I have to change my... Uh, here we go. Okay. So it's going through all of its phases, yeah, about every couple seconds. And what I want you to notice is all the ways that the, um, the moon is changing, right? So obviously it's changing its phase, right? It's going from full to noon. It's passing through all the crescents. But my question is, do you notice any other changes? And if you look closely, you probably see that the moon appears to kind of be wobbling a little bit. Like it's kind of twisting left and right and left and right. And that is a real effect that you can see in the sky. Um, if you were to watch the moon like this, which is really hard to do unless you take pictures like every day for a whole month. So that's that's another change is it's kind of twisting back and forth and back and forth. But if you look closely, there's another change you might notice, which is that the moon is looking a little bigger and smaller, right? It gets kind of a little small there big there small there you see how it's getting like larger and smaller you can actually see this um, in the data on the left hand side where it says apparent diameter and that number is changing from between 29 and 33 arc minutes so it's going back and forth and it's getting slightly bigger and slightly smaller and that you might hear about that in the news where people will talk about like the wolf moon or the big you know super moon they're talking about that very small variation in the size of the moon, the apparent size of the moon. And the question becomes like, why, why is that happening? And if you look carefully at this data on the left hand side, you can actually see why it's happening. So there's lots of data, lots of numbers changing here, but I want to highlight the number of the distance, the distance to the moon. And so you can actually see that the distance to the moon changes over the course of a month or from month to month. You see it's going anywhere from about 400,000 kilometers down to maybe 360,000 kilometers. So it's changing. Uh, the moon does not orbit the Earth in a perfect circle. And so um, that's, that's one of the reasons, or that's the main reason we see this change in the apparent size of the moon. Pretty cool, pretty cool.